Wake up. Wake Hello. up. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. You better be. I am awake. I'm checking something. We're in an quick. awful place. Just pressing all the wrong buttons. I'm. Why am I pressing the wrong buttons? I don't know why are you pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, I'm not in control here. Hold on, I want to see something. I want to see if we got everything. I think we might have missed one thing. We did miss a thing. We're going to go back real quick. I want to fight. I don't want to fight you right now. Just here. We don't have to go back too far. There's apparently something in the control room that we could get. That we didn't get because it was like super well hidden. Very well hidden. I don't want to fight this duck. I don't want to fight this duck. We have to though. We don't we don't have to. Okay, good. I don't know what they do. For all I know, it's worthless, but we'll see. It's just an it's just an accessory, so. Oh, I see it now. Oh, it, it is well hidden. Do you see it? <laughs> no. Right here. Got an earring of okay, light. Okay, what does it do? Let's see. Let's see what it does. It's probably it's probably not anything that we're going to use, but you know what? I don't want to miss any loot. Increase the amount of HP you have. Not bad. I mean, okay. Honestly, Radius probably needs that. Because he's old. He is old. I wonder if it would be better to give him this instead of the Mithril Helmet. I wonder if it, like, evens out. Gonna pierce this poor old man's ears. If I get rid of the Mithril Helmet, he loses four defense and two magic defense. I don't know how much HP he gets, though. Could get rid of the sight scope, I guess. I think he needs more, uh, more HP than anything at this point. He has such little HP. Alright, we can go now. We can go to the... Whatever this tower is. Quack. Quack. Quack, bot. Quack. Why are there robot ducks look like chickens? I don't know. Why is there even a robot duck? Why, why, why is a robot duck? Lost joke. What came first, the robot chicken or the robot egg? I don't know. Could not tell you. Lost joke. Are you paying attention? Yes. Okay. I was mulling over our existentialism. This must be the center of the Dead Sea. All this chaos must have spread from here. Chaos. I feel like this place is smaller than I... Oh. Hi! Hi, everybody! Hi! It's me! Hi! <laughs> the building seemed to have melted into one giant conglomeration. What happened to this place? Oh yeah, we're okay, bye. It did a panning shot. I don't think still we gotta go to look at what what this is. I mean we can go back out, but this is the like the only shot that we get. It looks kind of almost like a pouncing dragon, like a like a squatting dragon. Like big wings. But like Yeah, you can't really see much of it. Squatting dragon pouncing tiger. For some reason, I thought the Dead Sea was, like, bigger bigger than this. I thought there were, like, several different areas to go to, but there's really only the one city part, the other city part, and then this. I assume is it. Well, it's a Dead Sea. There's not a lot there. Zombies. It's infested by zombies. Let's go kill one of these zombies. They are Hi, not zombie. zombies. What are They're they? They're robo-peoples. Are they robot zombies? Well, we've encountered basically robots this or entire time. 
Oh, oh they're so like mannequins. Mannequin zombie things. Quit saying zombie. They're um blank uh uh things from near. They're from the they're from the Final Fantasy fourteen twenty four man near raid. The the second one. Is the second one or the first one? It's the first one, isn't it? What? The you talking about the the composite doll? Yeah, is that the second one or the first one? That's the second one. Okay, it's the second one. Oh yeah, the first one is okay. Yeah, the first one is. I won't say what the first one is. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> I was expecting a lot more damage from that. We can um, grab a ton of the other two. Ooh. Well, they're not difficult. No. Are we in, uh, are we in solution nine, Lost Joke? I don't where know. Where we are right now? What's solution nine? It's not a spoiler. They it was all over the marketing. I think people don't like that it was all over the marketing. There's definitely some people who were like, maybe it shouldn't have been all over the marketing. We visit any of these shops. <laughs> as if, as if people aren't going to data mine it anyway. It's less about that and more. Uh, I mean, if you can avoid like data mine spoilers, right? You just don't go on the forums no, or whatever. No, but, my, like... no, my point is that even if they didn't show it off in the marketing, people are going to data mine it anyway because they can't help themselves. No, I mean, they can't, I just mean they for can't people just who wait. are trying to avoid spoilers. Like, you can avoid the marketing and you, or, or you can avoid the data mining. It's harder to avoid the marketing if you're excited for a game because if you're excited for a game, like, you're gonna you're gonna watch the marketing, right? You're gonna you're gonna watch the trailers. You're gonna you know, you're gonna watch the interviews uh, where they talk about well, stuff. That, something you need to learn very quickly: Japanese game developers actually don't care. That's true. Think of all the games developed uh, from Japanese game developers where they have the opening cinematic just blatantly show you things that will happen in the story. It's true. I mean, Oops. look at this game in particular. We saw Surge stab Kid, a very uh, particularly pivotal point in the story. We see we see it in the opening cinematic. To be fair, I mean that's like the point, though, isn't it? Like to see it in the opening cinematic, uh, because well, not the cinematic. You see it. It's like one of the first things that you see in the game. The game opens with us in that in that tower, and then you see it happen. You don't see the details, but it's like he has a a prophetic dream, right? And that's why you have all of the options to like not let kid come on your party, because I think the the implication is that you think that the dream is prophetic enough that you don't want this person with you, so that you don't end up stabbing them. You you see, Surge failed to realize that is that stabbing kid is a fixed point in time. It's going to happen. Maybe Surge just likes stabbing kids. Maybe that's just it. Well, Surge himself is technically also a kid. This is just kid true. on kid violence. That's very true. Surge is also a cat. I need some healing. So I think I'm just going to finish these guys off with a regular and save my healing for the end. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. And then her head turns around. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> oh, I have another uh, slot. Did I know that? I have another uh, 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 magic slot. Look, I have level seven now. But well, you better slot it up. I think is it just Harl who has that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think this it's just Harl who has level seven. Radius and links don't yet. Oh my god. I took this man's glasses off and it 
it's heavy consequences. He's an old man. There we go. Now everyone's back up. <laughs> Got a lot of mithril. Mithril. Well, if I since I have a seventh slot for Harl, let me put some in it. Uh, look, I have this slot too. Uh, what is this, three? What can I give her in three? Another heal. Give her something else that's like yellow. I have anything yellow. Uh. Inferno? Five. Should probably give someone Inferno. Uh, Harl, have a Aqua Ball. And then also. She oh, she already <laughs> has something in there. It's an innate thing. Create a lunar eclipse that oh. causes destruction. Oh my god. Oh, so that's just her ability. I see. Look, I have two more slots here. I have another slot here. Uh, what slot is this for? Let's give... Uh, there we go. Uh, let's give him either Inferno or... <clears throat> it's minus one. But I think that's okay. And then, uh... Let's give him, uh... What else do I have in black? Gravity blow. You know what? Give him another gravity blow. And then let's also give him Electro Jolt. Didn't realize I had all these new slots. And then does Radius have any new slots? He does have two new slots. Well, lucky him. Uh I'm surprised a man of his age can have more slots. Let's give him, um... Let's go ahead and give him a... No, I'm not gonna kill all of this on this level. Let's give him a bush basher. What is, what is his element? Green. Is he green? That's, yeah, that's why he has all this green stuff. Uh, give him uh, red or blue. That wouldn't be, like, terrible. I don't think I should give him yellow, because I think yellow is the opposite of green, so that probably wouldn't be great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Turns out they they are robots, but they were, like, made in the form of zombies, so they are kind of like zombie robots. Where are we, Westworld? Uh, I've never seen the show nor the film. The film is pretty good. The first season of the show is good. The second season is okay. Second season is watchable. After that, I would go ahead and stop. I mean, I watched the first movie season because really it's good. got Yul Brenner in it. Yeah. And and he's always he's always a treat, but um The first season I would I would heartily recommend watching of the show, for sure. Anything after that is is a little bit iffy, and and, and honestly, it's probably best if you just stick with the first season and don't continue. Speaking of second seasons, uh YouTube kind of suggested this thing. Ironically, someone was mentioning of like weird YouTube videos that people do. Yeah. This one in particular was about uh, was proposing the questions. Uh, how do NP like th this one specifically focused on Fallout? How do Fallout NPCs get home? So the uh, the the question Station. more specifically when you tell an NPC who is like your companion or someone following you or Whee! someone who says they're going to go somewhere, do they actually go there? Uh, yes and no. They're supposed to, but 
It's Bethesda. He's he's well. The guy started with dog meat. He's like, it okay, he was time. some. You must go. I didn't you even see that guy. Will miss the tree. I almost missed him. I was about to walk out and I saw him. Well, well we better hurry, or we're gonna miss the train. I think I have to go this way. Do you think he's going home too? So Where's home just for us? Through this, I have to wait for him. Is he actually coming up here? No, I think he disappeared. I heard that ping. I think he disappeared. Yeah, I don't see him anymore. Uh, anyway, the guy tried it with dog meat. And dog meat uh, does not move as the crow flies, and is even as dis dismissed, he's completely aggro. <laughs> Dog meat eventually made it back to Vault 101, but there's something on the it ground. It took some babysitting. What? There's something on the there ground. There you go. Hey! <laughs> nice. Look at that. I purely just wanted this, uh, holy light! Uh -huh. I, just, I just want to see what it is. I'm not going to use it on him right now, but I just want to see what it is. You're five! Cast a holy circle, annihilates undead. Okay, well, I guess we'll solve this mystery once and for all. You're going to have to use it on some of these mannequin things. No, they're not going to... These mannequins are robots. They're just dressed like zombies. They're not even dressed, actually. They're not dressed at all. They're, in fact, completely naked. It's a little disconcerting. Well. Use it anyway. Medical book. It's a key item. What do I use that for? Mm, mm. The doctor. Yeah, could be. You know, he seems kind of a uh, down in the slumps <laughs> about true. being a doctor. He always he he was in both the uh, in both worlds. He was like that. All right, I think we can go. Sorry, I was just thinking about the elevator. We did the elevator, but we didn't actually use the elevator yet, so... I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at down there. Well, Are they we're... ghost women? I don't know. Up here is, like, seating, right? So, is down here, a, is it a stage? Is it a planetarium? I was wrong, sir. Did you send something? <laughs> My surge senses are tingling. What was that? A small child. Are you alright? Nope. <laughs> what? You saw a small child? I did not see a child anywhere. Huh? Ah, uh, now that'll surprise me here. Let's just keep going. I see things all the time, and none of us real. Are you real? Are you real, Serge? Are you a cat man? Sir Serge, when did you become a cat man? Oh my god! I've I've, I've been I've been a cat man. You 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 joined my you joined my party after I became a cat man. What? Ah, uh, <laughs> you remind me of Darius. He's dead, you know. <laughs> For, for the entire time, that, okay, these oh have to be. Hello, uh, I am Marianella. I'm a Virgo and I'm 15. Hi, my part of this accomplishment is the black hole. Nice to meet you. Okay, entry number two. Hola, soy Ariana Tengo 17 años. Ah, I do a mean tornado. 
Nice to meet you. I'm not going through this, by the way. I'm Richard. I'm 29. I'm here to protect beauty pageant, protest beauty pageant sexism. My future goal is a fireball. Nice to meet you. Entry number four. I'm Renata. I'm a 25-year-old Aries. I love to sing in the black right Aries! I think they're telling us what skills they're going to use. They are telling us what skills they're going to use. They're going to use a lot of big skills. Well, some big skills. How much damage is this going to do to us? Uh, it wasn't that bad. Probably it's just one person. Surge, apparently. <laughs> Surge doesn't care about that fireball. Black Rain? I don't know what Black Rain is. I think we've seen Black Rain back once before. Only Radius gave any kind of care about that. Which one is the tornado? Is the one on the left? I think it was the one on the left. I think it was the one on the far left, yeah. I'm gonna kill the one on the left, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and gravity blow for the one on the left. She's the only one who's like doing any kind of damage to us. Well, they're the only one that doesn't have a black element uh, ability. I think they're all they all sounded black, right? One of them is uh, had a fireball. It's red. See what oh, Black Hole does. Black Hole, end. we haven't seen yet. Ah! Okay, well, we're, we're dead. That's it. We're gone. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Tell you what. I'm going to run away. <laughs> All right. You've just left Radius. <laughs> <laughs> Who's dead now? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god. I, th <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I think we need to fight him, though. I think that we need to use... Um... God, the problem is nobody is nobody's white, so I don't know if it's going to, like, mess up the, the, uh, the power of the spell. Uh, we'll try it. Um, let's get rid of Graviton and use, because I think these guys are ghosts. I think these guys are undead enough to have this work on them. So How convenient that we got an ability that we can use on dead things. Let's uh, heal people up, because holy crap. All right, <laughs> we're good now. We're good now. Let's fight again. Do-overs. Did not expect that to do that much damage. I guess this is the room. I guess it is a stage. I guess maybe the... Oh my god, we have to listen to this. Love is the name and love is the game, and if it matters, I'm 17. I mean, it matters. Volcano. Your past time is Volcanoes. Nice to meet you. Entry number two. Your past time Valentina is Volcanoes. Aquarius, I'm 15. The press accomplishment is the black hole. Okay, the one on the left, we're gonna annihilate immediately. Uh, she's a Scorpius. Robbie's poison gas. Great, good, good hobby. She's also inexplicably Spanish. Sixteen out of tall, dark boys. My future goal is to fireball. Nice to meet you. Okay. All oh, right off the bat. Hmm. That's unfortunate. How much damage it does. It just kills Harl. Why does it kill Harl? She's she's black aspected. That shouldn't do that much damage to Harl. Jesus. Maybe it uh, kills at random. It's possible. Okay. Well. Oops. No, not her. Tragedian. Do not miss. Okay. I guess I never miss, huh? Let's see what this does. Just die, all of you, please. Die, will ya? 
Okay, well, it did a decent amount of damage. One of them is on the back foot. I think if you can do it again, uh, you'll get We can't do it again. Him. We oh, only have the no. one. We only have the one. You can only cast Money. a spell a single time in this game. Single time for, bat for battle. We'll get to working. Uh, looking for if I have anything that's uh, AOE. So you have grab a ton. It's not really gonna do that much damage though. All right, just single target. You know, I don't think I've really reached a point where I'm getting sick of the battle team. Uh, it's 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 fine. It is a little infectious, though. Well, Something of an earworm, it would be. be. Too bad. It's gonna do damage, <laughs> but it shouldn't kill us. Okay. <laughs> wow. Our old man isn't looking too good. All right. Well, let's. Uh, I don't have. Oh, I do have revive. Oh. We have to, we have to heal, though. Um, let's cure plus the old man. And then next turn, I'll revive. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna miss. Uh, I don't really have any revives on uh, the old man, so you are going to get a meteorite to the face. Oh good, they're just trying to hit me. It's great. Wonderful. You missed. They physically can't do much damage, but their spells are where the trouble is. Yeah. I don't know how many spells they have. If they only have the one, then that's that's it. They can't cast anything anymore, but... Okay. Now, let's go ahead and revive Harl so she gets some XP from this. Uh, Harl. Please kill this weird ghost doll. Please. It's fine. Poison gas isn't that bad. I want to do something small so I have enough uh, left over for a heal. Just use, um, Mega Bomb. You should do it. didn't, though. It didn't, though. There we go. Jeez. My word. Oh, yeah? What's your word? My word is holy crap. That's two mm. words. Not if you don't use the space. <laughs> not, not if your space bar is broken. <laughs> Anything under here? No. Uh, oh yeah, we have poison. Let me get rid of the poison. Because we have plenty of antidotes. I don't really want to fight another one. <laughs> I don't really want to fight another one right now. I might have to, though. I don't think this one's yeah. giving you a choice. I wonder what play they were putting on. Six Face in the Forest. 
I'm Carolina and I'm 10 and when I grow up I want to be Miss Universe. My future goal is Fireball. Nice to meet you. I'm Richard, I'm 29, I'm here to protest beauty patch and sexism. I do me tornado. Wait, didn't okay. we already do this? Tornado is on the left. Mary Jana. Judge Terry, I like to suck blood. <laughs> there, there was a slight hitch <laughs> there on was. my side. And all, all I saw was no, I like to suck. No, and I'm like, it wasn't on your side. That was in the game. That happened. That actually happened. <laughs> There's no yes. way that that wasn't intentional. Absolutely I zero didn't. way. I think I know someone who might be interested in And he and does just, like ghosts. I'm just realizing that the amount of HP that that trinket is giving Radius is actually not that much, so I'm probably gonna swap it back out. Didn't seem worth it. <clears throat> uh, sure. Let's get all of them. It's probably not gonna do that much damage. Let's see. So I noticed uh, he Radius started the fight with 250 out of 244, which means it's giving him 6 HP, which does not seem worth it for a, like a full trinket slot, you know? It's not missing. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, everybody gets Mega Bomb. You get a magma bomb, and you get a magma bomb. Looks like I'm going the wrong person. I'll kill this one on the left first, just in case they decide to friggin' black hole again or tornado again. Nobody, had, nobody here has black hole, luckily. This time, I wonder if it's going to cycle the through the same. Uh, I guess. Con ten contestants? Well, there are more contestants than there are people here, so like, I feel like there's at least six or seven different ones. So let see four at a time. This one wasn't too bad. The one with the tornado, it, like, isn't, isn't bad. Like, it does damage, but it doesn't do black hole damage. And Radius does not care about Fireball. Even one little bit. Okay. This is any small. Let's do um, magma bomb. Save up my my MP. What do you think about the the magic system in this game, where you have to hit? people to get MP, but then you can only use spells, like, once in a, in a fight? I don't... I don't think people really liked it that much. Considering, uh, offhand, this is the only game that does this kind of thing. Yeah. I think it's... It's, it's, it's interesting that they tried to do something different, but I'm not sure that... This was that great of a system. Because you, the problem is that you have um, you have people who are clearly meant to be magic users, right? Um, but you still have to have them smack the guy for like 2 HP like several times in order to build up the magic. It doesn't really make any sense. I feel like those people in particular maybe should start out with like a couple of slots, you know, unlocked. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that could be, like, their special because they're a magic user. But, I don't know. Nope. <laughs> yeah, we have to go that way anyway, though. We have to. There's a chest over there. There's a chest over there, Lost Joke. We have to. I mean, we don't have to. You have to. We have to. We, we both have to. Alright, who we got? Who we got today? The Spanish person. See, it's it's in the game. It the the pause is in the game. She's cancer. Oh my god. Oh okay. Well, Gemma, oh. you're gonna have to die very quickly. Richard, get out of here. 
But I'm protesting beauty pageant and sexism. Alright, so the only dangerous one is is the one on the left. She's probably gonna do it immediately. Yep. <laughs> well it apparently well will it affect Harl only again? Oh, I forgot to ch change Oh look, Radius has 273 now. That's a little bit more worth it. Oh, it didn't it didn't actually like flat out kill anyone this oh, that's time. Good. She's still gonna die first though. <laughs> okay. Sure, go ahead and fireball. I don't care. Fireball does nothing. Alright. <laughs> Are we done? Less stamina. Nice. Uh, let's. Moonbeams. Moonbeams Moon and rainbows. Nice. It's good damage on my moonbeams. This is the one that sucks blood. Which we haven't actually seen yet, by the way. Kind of worried about it. Probably just heals. So, uh, she's gonna die. Slay this vampire. There are no vampires. All right. No, oh, no. Here's the one that sucks blood. Okay. Well, I got that one wrong, but she did nothing literally happened. nothing. Good. You know what? Good. You can. Uh... <laughs> you can be ultra banished from this plane. This spell is gonna be really good if and when I get my regular body back and I'm white aspected again. Assuming that happens, I don't know. I do know, but... White. Ass. Pected. <sighs> Let's see what this looks like. Total Eclipse! Cool. Whoever designed the, the FX for that fight is the same person who designed the FX for the Chrono Trigger spells. <laughs> just weird sounds and screen filling FX. Just like Chrono Trigger. Well, isn't that just like RPGs though? Yeah, it is. Chrono Trigger had a lot of them though. Oh, well, I already have several of those, but it's fine. Fine. Anything up here? There's a place to go up here. There's a... Whatever this is. What is this? A sword. Prop sword. It's a key item. Well. Uh, do we want to go backstage or we want to go to the side? Backstage. Oh, there's a backstage. Alright, never mind then. There is side, no then. backstage. I'm pressing buttons just in case there's a chest back here, but I don't see anything. I don't know why that place exists. Cure plus. Cure plus ultra. To go beyond cure plus ultra. Quick, uh, just in case. Never you mind what I might have done or didn't do. Hello? Hello? Is that person Luca colored? Go chase them. I would love to if I could. 
we are inside the building, yet what is this team doing in here? This place is beyond me! Oh, this new technology, you kids! This you kids true. and your newfangled stuff, I don't know. This is true, Harl and Lynx are both kids compared to, what did he say, he's like 60? I think he's supposed to be like 57 or something. <laughs> All right, yeah, we got to go up there and get uh, that chest before we continue on. I There's so many places to go. There was already the elevator that we haven't actually taken yet. I hope that, I'm just I'm just making sure that we're not going to, like, miss anything by going too far forward. You know what I mean? Seal all. Is that just sealing elements? Do you think we have too many elements? Everyone's. <sighs> nah, I mean, yeah, yeah, but... <laughs> so we could go up that ladder up there, but uh, let's go see what this place leads us to. Maybe. I mean, we're supposed to, like, sell our elements for materials, but we haven't really needed the materials. Game drops them like candy. Remember what we got? We were hoarding mithril because we didn't know if we'd get any more. We have too many! And now we have like a billion. Huh? Ghosts. Hello? What in heaven's name is going on here? It's General, Miss Riddell, and Glenn and the other dragoons. What could have happened here? You're slipping, old man. It is unfortunate, but it appears they were held captive here before they died. It is too late. They are so close yet so far. No, no one can help them. I am oh, your, your exit is slipping. <laughs> I am breaking. Oh, creepy children laughing. Hello, creepy child. Who are you? Okay, well, bye. I feel like this is the way we should go, and so I kind of want to not go this way, but at the same time, there's something up here that I want to go grab, so I will do that. And yet, at the same time... So that definitely looks like it's progress, which means... We're going to immediately turn around <laughs> and go the other way. Kind of looks like a, a PlayStation version of a time portal from the original from Chrono Trigger. A little bit. So there's this way instead. We go up this ladder and then we can go all the way back and take the elevator. But we'll see. Might end up taking the elevator last. Um, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> is this not a way? Hey, oh, good. <laughs> All right, this isn't a way. Looks like a door. It looks like a door. Uh, let me check something real quick. Uh Let's see. All right. So, we should go back. But apparently back to we don't the use past. We don't use the elevator. Apparently, there's just something on the elevator that we can get. Would so you would you that. use the elevator in this place? <sighs> Probably not. No, it did still work. We'll go back and get that thing, and then we'll continue on. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna get it. Oh, 
much like everything here is respawned. <laughs> yep. It's fine. Nope. <laughs> Juked that one. We just gotta go all the way downstairs and get the elevator. Oh, do we have to, we have to press the elevator again? Hold on. I think it reset. Oh, I do see a chest in there now. Didn't see it before. Notice. Failed to look with your your loot eyes. Trashy tiara. Oh, good. I'm <laughs> so glad that we came all the way back for that. <laughs> what is this supposed to mean? I don't know. It, maybe it's someone's like special accessory or something to unlock so their power. Was, well, I mean. I mean, what does it mean? Does it mean that it's a, like a tiara that's kind of like trashed, or is it is a a social faux pas of a tiara? A dirty old headdress. <laughs> so it's just dirty. It's it it is trash. Is what it is. I know you tried to get me there. I know you just tried to get me, but you can't get me. Okay. Now we can go up here and continue on. Do you think... trying to figure out what this is obviously it's like a plane wing do you think it's a wing of the the giant plane from the first game no idea can't remember what I it was don't called. remember what the wing looked like it was big broken is what with, it is with huge with huge wings you can do battle on oh, i can't do battle? anything with these ghosts can't interact with them Is that? That kind of looked like uh, a kid wearing a blue tunic with spiky red hair. Lost joke. I don't know. He was rather fuzzy. He was. They are all rather fuzzy. But again, this is what the game looks like originally. Like, if you're playing this on an old TV, this is what it looks like, so. Are you alright? What's wrong? You've been acting strangely ever since we entered the building. Is it that child again? I mean, it's been like three different children so far. There's no turning back now. We must keep going, Serge. She's actually calling him Serge now. Has she accepted his, accepted him? Ooh. Here we go. Ooh. No idea where the story's going. <laughs> uh, sunset. Another clouds from the Dead Sea cleared up. It appears that the dimension itself is more unstable. Here, sun, Oops. anywhere else. It Sorry, is time and space within a structure completely different from anywhere else. And we have a save point. Good. Luckily, the distortion here to leave this place is still here. That's good news for us. How do you know all this stuff, Carl? Why is she also, like, suddenly just really serious? It is, it is like, a huge character change. Before she was rather whimsical, now I she's feel actually like, straightforward. 
I feel like she's been serious ever since we <laughs> stabbed Kid. <laughs> she was less serious when we were kind of like semi chasing her through the weird like area, right? But then like once we got her on our team, she's been like more serious. This is an Enertron. You get a full night's sleep in a few seconds. But you're still hungry. Will you rest? We don't eat. Let's just all just cram inside this thing. HP or sword, satisfied normalities removed. But you're still hungry. No, it... Ah! There it is. There it is. I mean, all this stuff is from the future. Hello, children. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure, by the way, <laughs> we know these children. I don't know why they're children, because as far as I know, in the game, they were the same age as, as Surge and, and Kid. But, I mean, that's clearly Chrono on the left, Marl on the right, and I think that that purple-haired person is Luca. So is this the canon party? Don't know. I think they're the only ones that matter. Go the other way, get the other chest real quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Let's see what the screwy dress looks like. Or, you know, what the... What the what it does. For female use only, or for the closet cross-dresser, it gives uh, a lot more... Um, a little bit more magic defense. But less uh, regular It's defense. almost kind of implying that guys can wear it. Come here, Radius. Nope. No. Or so the tulip tip it, was a lie. You no, know, you know what? It might be that a specific guy can wear it. Like, what if, uh, what if, like, Nikki can wear it? We don't have Nikki, so. Oh, look, we can finally see them much clearer now. Actually, closer to the camera. It's, it is, it's like Luca, Marl, and Chrono, but they're like, as children, instead of like the teenagers that they were in the game. Can I talk to them? Marl, let me talk to you. Luca, let me talk to you. Nope. Oh, it's the bell, look! We're at, uh, Lena Square or whatever. It's the, it's the same bell. Queen Lean. Queen Lena. Queen Lean. Oh, yeah, I guess we have to... Read this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. 81,000. Nadia's bell. May our prayers for peace ring on for eternity. I think this is the, um... Hmm. Is this the one, the, the new one that they had at the end? Nadia's bell will never be heard again. Never. I mean, you can just hang it back up. It's still there. It still looks okay. You can hang it back up and... And then put like the striker back inside. Uh oh, I think uh, I think it's gonna have to be you. Yes. Uh, we wait. I feel like I, <laughs> if only I had it's some long. voice filter, so I could be so I could be like more ghostly. We, no. Everyone worked to save the planet's future for nothing. It's probably. It was probably intended that Kid could not possibly be in our party because I would think that Kid would recognize who this is. Spoilers. Oh, we already... We know who it is, though. And we know what Kid's who's, relationship who's with them is. Uh, still same. Still same. It's all because of you. You killed it. You. Shame him. Shame him. Shame. Shame. So many lives were supposed to be saved. This planet was to be healed with love, hope, 
and dreams. But you spoiled it. You! Mm. How could you? How could you do such a thing? It's all your fault that the world is going to end up like this. It's all your fault, Sage. How do you know me? <laughs> Who wants to do Chrono? <laughs> Chrono never had a voice, though. Murderer. Uh, I think we were. I think we were like collectively Chrono. Murderer. That's his voice. That's his child's voice. Who are these children? Who are these little whippersnappers? <laughs> Who are these lost sassy children? <laughs> It's Serge's fault that the world will end up like this. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Why do you keep, people keep blaming me? I didn't do anything. I don't even go to this school. <laughs> I have no idea who this is. I have no idea. I think I think you should do it though. Okay. I don't but know who whoever it is. It, the person, uh, whoever the person reveals themselves to be, this is going to be their voice. Okay. Don't let it bother you. It is just an echo from the ones far gone. It's just an illusion. Hi, guys. <laughs> Man. Hi. <laughs> Welcome okay. hey. to the Tower of Geddon. Time crash round zero. Uh huh. It's been a while, Serge. But I guess you don't remember who I am. Your 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 Serge is dead, aren't you? Is it? Is it dead? Father, father. I don't blame you. You were only a little child back then. Father. I'm Miguel. A friend, aw, oh, so close. A friend uh, of your father. You're not my dad. According to the time outside, it's been about mm, 14 years, give or take, since the night of the storm. Okay, go on. Go on. Continue. Oh, that's that's Serge's father. What is this place? Oh, I get. <laughs> it's right. It's me. Yamcha. <laughs> <laughs> He's everywhere. No. Everyone's Yamcha. <laughs> I don't know, but I think we're about. I think we're supposed to know about it. You don't think you're supposed to I, know about it? I don't think a lot of things. <laughs> I don't know who's talking. That I, child, that wounded I, child, bring him to what me. What is the narrator of time? What was that? Who's there? Wait! Wazuki, where are you Waski. going? Wazuki. There's okay. no way we can set sail again in this storm. We don't have a second to waste, or else Surge will... He's carrying uh, a kid on his back. Oh, I, I was I was wondering why he was walking funny. Yeah. But I, I assume it's Surge. I don't care what lies ahead of us. I'm going. There's no way I'll allow my son to die without a fight. I'd appreciate it if you waited for me here. Thank you for coming tonight, Miguel. Thank you. You're just oh. gonna let him wander off? Your 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 guy disappeared. Lost joke. It's gone. What? Lost joke is gone. He's, he's gone. Oh, there he is. He's back. He's back. He's he's returned. I I don't know what that was. Yes, I've been here in this very place for fourteen. <laughs> he's been waiting here for for Serge's father to get back the entire time. Well, he did. You know, say... you could have just gone home and waited for him there, right? Wazuki told him to wait here for me, so he did. For is 14 Miguel, years. Um, is Miguel the girl's uh, uh, father? What's her name? Is her name Lena? Remember now. It's been so long uh, since we've seen our wife. Yeah, it's, it's Lena. 
our wife slash childhood plant. Uh, our wife slash widower. Yeah, looking it up. Just we, in case. We, I think you're, we are it's, it's Schrodinger's. Yeah. We're Schrodinger's uh, surge. We're both alive and dead, and also a cat man. <laughs> it, it see, it, it just works. We're a cat man. We're both alive and dead. It wasn't like this when I got here, though. So don't blame me. An incident that occurred 10 years ago transformed into the Dead Sea. So, it wasn't okay. Me, though. <laughs> no one's blaming you, Miguel. It's fine. I am blaming you for not returning home to your daughter, though. Uh, <laughs> so, 14 years, when Surge was 3-ish, something happened. And he was brought here. Uh, to get fixed, I guess. And Miguel came. And I am I am assuming that Miguel is Lena's dad. I don't actually know that for a fact, but I'm assuming so right now. The assumption I'm going with. Because uh, they were friends and they and they came together. Uh, and then... But Surge was fixed, I assume. But then... Four <laughs> years yeah, later... We just, we just took him to AutoZone. He's four a, years he, later, is something happened. Up. Uh, I think the four years later thing is the I think the demon they they say demon cat yeah the panther demon I believe is what it was described as you don't know you don't know there's nothing in this world as ruthless or impartial as death all living matter ages over time except for me I'm built different <laughs> no matter how mighty or tiny it's life force. Again, except for me. Yeah, you look the same. So so being alive means you're creeping closer to death within every second. Listen, I don't need the game to be this real for me right now, okay? I know. I'm I getting old. <laughs> I, I don't need constant reminders of the, the ever-marching presence of time. But there's none of that here. I mean, look at me. <laughs> no one and nothing ages... Nothing wastes away. You don't get hungry. This quiet, boundless, I mean, we and do get hungry world. Because we use that machine and we are still hungry after it. I think the machine takes your hunger. Oh my god. An ideal world. Hunger straight sucker. out of a fairy tale, isn't it? A place and time that belongs to no one. Res Nullus. Are you th just Nullius. throwing Latin out here? Latin's I'm, a I'm, dead language, sir. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out what Res Nullius is. Nullius is like is like nothing. A Res Nullius could just literally mean belonging to no one. That is because that it's because this I'm, I keep seeing that and that's, that's the right. It's because this is a future that was eliminated. It doesn't exist. History is composed of choices and divergences. I feel like we're getting answers, but then also not getting answers. Each choice you make creates a new world and brings forth a new future. I almost feel like this is touching a little bit on the end of Chrono Trigger, in particular, the part where everyone's going home. Um, so, f like, Frog and Magus go home, and their home isn't really changed at all, right? Like, we didn't really change anything there. Yeah, because they're in the past. But... Yeah, but when Robo goes home, it was mentioned that like Where, it might be completely different because of something. He might that has even changed. not exist at all. Yeah, and well, they, well, so here, I kind of feel like this thing. is touching on that in particular. Well, the thing about it is that presumably Robo's future doesn't exist. The moment we uh, we destroyed Lavos and pretty much changed the 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 what the future would be. But the fact that Robo was still with us means kind of gives you a hint that the future is different, but he still exists somehow. 
Yeah, it's not Back to the Future rules where, like, if if the future changes, anything from the future ceases to exist. Robo still exists. And if he goes back to the future, he might go into a world where he doesn't exist, but he doesn't stop existing. He just doesn't have a place there, I guess. I, 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 don't, I didn't think we were really prepared to tackle... Uh... Was this quantum theory? <laughs> yeah, yeah kind of. But at the same time, you're eliminating a different future within the choices you didn't make. Or... See, okay, so here's the what? thing. When I played this 25 years ago, of course I had played Chrono Trigger before this. But I had played Chrono Trigger, I think, closer to when Chrono Trigger came out, which was a few years, you know, before this, before this came out. And at the time, I will admit that I wasn't super necessarily into stories of games at the time. Um, some, Especially with, with JRPGs, which I would usually play mostly because my best friend at the time um, played them, like was super into them. Um, and he, you know, he, he played, like he played uh, uh, Suikoden, he played Tactics, you know, he played, of course, Final Fantasy VII. And so whenever I would play a game that was JRPG, which I wasn't really in, ever into, it was purely because I wanted to to kind of play along with him and have something to talk with him about, right? No. I did, of course, like Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is one of the few JRPGs I genuinely love. Like, I actually enjoy playing. Trigger uh, was my first exposure to RPGs, and it just pulled me in. I just never really finished it. Yeah. at the time it only took me 20 years to do it um so of course when chrono cross is going to come out i was like i liked trigger like trigger was one of the few jrpgs i actually liked so of course i'm going to play cross but then when i got into it it, it was i don't know it didn't this doesn't really feel like cross it doesn't really do too much with or it doesn't really uh feel like trigger it doesn't really do too much with trigger's story at least in, until until now um it felt they felt more like it's just its own thing right and uh, if, at least for the majority of the of the game, and uh, I wasn't as into it as I was for Trigger, and so I kind of just started going through the motions at one point. And I know that I've said that the reason that I didn't finish it was because I got to a boss that just I just couldn't beat, and then I was also stuck somewhere I couldn't like go back and get more supplies to beat the boss. Um, but I think part of that was also just I just wasn't that invested in it because I wasn't really paying attention to the story. I wasn't really, I was kind of, I wasn't, I wouldn't say I was necessarily skipping box, dialogue boxes, but I think I just kind of wasn't really reading into things. I wasn't keeping it in my mind at the time. And so I never really got the story for Chrono Cross. And so playing it again now, 25 years later, where I actually am paying attention. I mean, I know that we're like, you know, we're chatting and we're, and we're, and we're making goofs and stuff, but we are, I think both of us paying attention. And um, and I'm getting a lot more out of it now, of course, than I did back then. Well, and it also helps that we just finished Chrono Trigger be before we played this. Like it's we still have fresh context. in our minds. And so now we have a lot more context for some of this stuff, especially what this guy is talking about, because that is something that they never really. Chrono Trigger was a very was a very light story. In, in most respects. Um, it's just a fun adventure. It's a time-traveling adventure. There's not really anything super, super dark about the story or or potentially thought-provoking. But I know that a couple of years, you know, as, as, as RPGs got bigger and maybe a little bit more, I don't want to say adult, but a little bit more serious in, in some tones, they started putting more uh, 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 thought-provoking ideas in RPGs to make it seem more serious. And I think that's what they're doing here. Is they're putting a more thought-provoking idea in Chrono Cross about, um, remember that fun adventure you had in Chrono Trigger? What if it, like, screwed things up? Do, do you remember this? <laughs> anyway, hey, sorry remember for the that tangent. time? Uh, I don't think you read this part. No, I did. Okay. I read this well, part. There. This guy's been waiting for 14 years. He can wait a little longer. Yeah, that's fine. 
a future denied of all existence because of a change in the past. But like, the future that we changed was the bad future, right? <laughs> like it was, it was not good. People were getting killed just to feed robots, and 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 that's not even including like all of the other like millions of people who were probably dead because of Lavos specifically, They're, like destroying the place. So I don't feel too bad about eliminating that particular future. I'm just saying. But we don't know if we've replaced that future with a worse one. Yeah, we don't know what happened, yeah. <clears throat> a future that was destroyed even before it was born rests here, condensed into the Dead Sea. So this is kind of a confirmation then that this is this is the future that we got Robo from and that we met Johnny in. This is that same future that we in Chrono Trigger stopped from happening because of the changes, because we defeated Lavos in the past. How is that possible? I haven't been following. What are you talking about? Fate. Our lives are governed by fate. Fate knows all and controls all. No one can run from fate. Except me. Apparently. Even your presence here was predestined long ago. It was coded by developers in a Square Enix office building. You can visit this office building in the acclaimed <laughs> or the office MMO RPG Final <laughs> Fantasy XIV if you I think get the building's into visiting rates. you. <laughs> Multiple times, too. Wouldn't you like to become one with this world? Okay, this is getting um, weird now. Not really, no. I'm not... I'm not... Listen, I was with you up until now, but uh, I think we're just gonna go. No, I'm good, bro. I... <laughs> to be a part of eternity? How about it, Serge? You no need no longer struggle alone, nor fear an uncertain tomorrow. Because there are no tomorrows, is what you're trying to say. Time stands still here. Well, what do you say? Yeah, okay, I'll do it. No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I see. I guess there's only one thing left to do, then. I take it you're trying to restore the dimensional distortion. How do you know about that? If you defeat me and liberate this place, the distortion will return to the way it was. I'll also let you marry my daughter. Um, I hate to break it to you, but <laughs> we're already kind of married. We have what? kids too. What did I what did I miss? Oh my god. It's been fourteen years. <laughs> <laughs> You've been in here for fourteen years. You missed a lot. I guess this is it. Just as there are times of peace, there are times of war. And war, war never changes. War has changed. You don't like have that. to hold back. <laughs> Attack me with all your soul if you wish to live. I like that Metal Gear Solid 4 posits that war has changed. Or Fallout posits that war never changes. I th I think the, the the idea is that the concept of humans fighting against humans doesn't yeah. really change. Fallout, yeah, Fallout is is more broad, whereas Metal Gear Solid Four is more about the the methods and uh, 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 the ways of war, like the the ID chips and the GPS satellites and the drones and all of that stuff. Yeah, Metal Gear is about how war how war is committed is changed. Fallout's talking about that war doesn't change. It will happen. And this is a concept that goes over people's heads. People argue about this. Yeah. Let fate take its course. 
Oh, I thought it was gonna pop on him. Oh, the sad music is still happening during the fight. <laughs> this is the weirdest boss fight because it's like, just look at, a look at guy. him standing there. Yeah, just look at him standing there. He's just kind of casual about it. Is it worth it? Well, anti-black. No. Oh no. Unfortunate. Uh, it's a little unfortunate. It's a little unfortunate for Harl. But it's fine. We'll um. <laughs> I, I kind of want to try Holy Light just to see if he's undead, but I bet he's not. I bet he's not classified as undead. He's <laughs> <laughs> just a guy. It's like, you've got a, a Harlequin Jester, you got a Catman from Hot Topic, and you've got an old man, like, you know, Dragoon Man, and you've got, you know, Dave. Um... Well, I... Let's just use Electro Bolt, I guess. You can't use Black. I wonder why they decided to call them colors instead of, um... Elements? Because, I mean, they are elements, basically. But the official name are, are, are colors. Like, Black is it dark. It's Black. Even though it is, in fact, dark. Oh god. Oh god. Ah! Jesus Christ! Oh. Well, let's, um. <laughs> let's deal <heal> surge. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't kill him. I wonder if it's one of those moves that intentionally doesn't kill. All right, we're going to heal again, because <laughs> holy crap. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's just punching. He's just punching. He's just punching people. You know, let's do one more. This is basically like the hyperbolic time chamber. He's been in here for 14 years. What has he been doing? Why can I not use this? Oh, it's because she has still has anti-black. Oh damn. Uh. Yeah, she can't do. She can't use black. Oh. I'm already black. You can't turn me more black. Blacker than black. It's gonna hurt. the best but we are gonna get him old guy. man ah, get him ah. come on I'm a little surprised at how long we've had radius Been for a while but that said he kind of has been a bit integral to the story at for this whole time uh, I am gonna heal because Lynx is taking is taking the brunt of all these attacks. He's he's not doing well. Oh look, Carl is no longer. Uh... Yeah, you know what? Let's just um. Defend. There it is. You can defend him. Honestly, it's fine. Whatever. Let's do Harl first. Do not miss Harl, I swear to god. This guy definitely seems like he's white uh, aspected. So hopefully this does a lot of damage. Did a lot of damage. Ooh, he's down. He's down. All right. Just a little bit more. Oh god. No, we're, we I think fought we'll be okay. all manner of like bizarre creatures as bosses so far, but the fact that the weirdest is just some Ouch. guy. 
It's just some guy. It's, and again, it's probably Lena's dad, so it's like, it's some guy that we know. I wonder if we would have different dialogue if we actually brought her. I don't know. The guide might say. I'll, I'll look it up after we're done. I'm not gonna do the. I'm not gonna do it again though. Oh no. Uh, we'll probably be okay. We're not undead, so. Ooh, did a lot of damage though. Um. God, this feels like a battle of attrition right now. Isn't that what a lot of RPG fights are? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I should do a couple of hits. Again? I mean, you've already done that to me. Uh, I don't need to do that. Let's do long shot. Can't believe he's not dead yet. Ah, okay. Sure. I'm so used well, to hearing like the. The, the fanfare, but this... No. Da, 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 Yay! Wait, that that's is the game. wrong game. <laughs> nice. Dreamer's Scarf. Oh, no. Please. We Me. killed Lena's. Oh. Well done. <laughs> Bookmark, That's welcome. We've... the way, Serge. <laughs> I think we've just killed Lena's dad. <laughs> My, you've grown strong. Maybe, just maybe, you and your friends have the power to defeat fate and build a new future for humanity. You too can defeat fates if you play the highly acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. You can even trial. defeat gates. <laughs> you can defeat gates too, that's right. Fates and gates. And, fates, gates, and feet. <laughs> yeah, and fates. That's right. Fates with an E. French. It's French for fate. The Dead Sea is the, tr is the true form of this planet's future. At one stage, our world was on the verge of such inevitable destruction. That was in 1999. The 90s were so cool. <laughs> when the parasitical alien life form known as Lavos awoke after centuries of feeding off of this planet. Remember when the PlayStation was out in 1999 and there was that cool hey. RPG called Chrono Cross came out in 1999? That was great, wasn't it? Man, I love that game. So cool. Wasn't as good as Trigger, though. <laughs> Lavos fell... F we, I don't think we ever... Is this game going to tell us where Lavos came from? We know that Lavos came from space. At least that's, yeah, I think, it, what it said in the first Lavos game. Lavos was basically a spaceship, and it just crashed yeah. on the planet. He was like a space uh, alien who eats worlds. Lavos fell from the heavens countless numbers of years ago, and buried deep beneath the surface to eat and sleep. Hey, it was around <laughs> mood. It was around 65 million years ago. A little, little more, a little more than that. Slowly but deliberately, Lavos devoured our planet from the inside out, waiting for the time to 
ripen for its true awakening. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming Miguel is dying or something, because it's just I, I, yeah, he's, here. He has a lot to say for someone who is dying. Finally, Lavos did awake and manifested its true form on the surface of the planet. Oh, are we going to fight Lavos again? I don't is know. That, is that what are we're we? building up here? Are we? Well, cause no the, spoilers. The ghost, the, in chat, by the way. The we, ghost we, of Chrono... Uh, <laughs> Neither of us have actually of finished three, this game, so... The ghost of the three kept saying that Lynx is the reason why you know the world ended or, some, or something to that effect. <laughs> and... We're, we're getting a lot of information and targeted, you know, dialogue towards Lavos and the whole yeah. the fact that that's why this is like this here. Just saying. That's when our world faced a death from which there seemed to be no possibility of escape. I mean, we also got a readout for Lavos from the, uh, the computer in one of the, like, city sections. Like a diagram, Lavo's diagram. Were it not for a teenage boy, were it not for a teenage boy and his group <laughs> of adventuring friends, <laughs> that is, these these young heroes caught a glimpse of this planet's future's destruction as it appeared in 2023. I, I mean, sorry, 2300. 2024. 2020 with the COVID. They realized they could not turn their backs on the planet, even if its death would not be anywhere in <laughs> Miguel, their lifetime. Miguel, so different. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was practicing this time traveling from the epoch. I've been here for 14 years. Epoch. <laughs> they, I, I was very bored. <laughs> they battled Lavos for the future of our planet. And eventually won. Find out but more about this story in the critically acclaimed <laughs> RPG for Super Nintendo, also available for PlayStation with anime cutscenes. For all of, available on all consoles. But in saving our planet from the death of Lavos was going to bring about, they changed the course of history. <clears throat> At that very moment, this whole future time axis ceased to exist. So you call it a call it cause and effect. It is just a problem of possibilities after all. In this world, there are no such things as absolutes or certainties. Getting kind of quiet there, Lustful. Okay. Saying. Saying you're quiet. You're quiet. For the future, that was supposed to have disappeared. This is my Marl voice, by the way. It's the voice I use for Marl, and it's the voice I'm going to continue using for Marl, even though she looks like she's six years old. For the future that was supposed to have disappeared is about to be restored here. The future destruction of our planet is going to become a reality in this world once again. The vengeance of the future we killed is about to begin. <laughs> it's I'm gonna continue doing it though. With Zurge serving as a trigger. The Chrono Trigger. I said the name of the game. The Chrono Trigger. They've actually Perhaps. already said the name of the game before, by the way. Yes. They blatantly called Surge the Chrono Trigger. Perhaps or perhaps not. Either way, it's all part of the grand game of the gods and goddesses. Quote unquote goddesses. What do you mean? What do you put the emphasis on goddesses? What do you mean by that, Miguel? What are you talking about? People are dragged into their into playing this game, forced to put out their own lives without even knowing the rules. I wasn't forced to play this game. I chose to play this game. without even being allowed to complain. I mean, I will complain. We have you been complaining stop me. a lot. 
Not that there's not that we dislike the game. I like this game. But we do I also complain. like complaining. <laughs> it's cathartic. They try to do their best under the conditions placed upon them. Not to be confused with Do you know this, or do you just like spend all, spend all 14 years just thinking about life? Listen, he's been here for 14 years, and he's been bored, and he knew that we were coming, so he had all of this uh, memory. You don't know how many times he's done this speech, Lost Joke. He's done this speech literally hundreds of times in front of this stupid bell. The bell wasn't even here when he started this speech. The bell appeared here 10 years ago, and he was like, oh, well, that was my favorite place to sit, but now there's a broken bell in the way. Great. I'm glad I'm going to have to deal with this for 10 years. <laughs> Did you read this one? Even, uh, no. Without... Wait. No, I didn't finish it. They tried right. to do their... No, wait. I did read this. That's why we started talking about complaining. Oh, yeah. The only alternative is to give up and leave the playing field in a forfeit. A curious way to say they just kill themselves. I mean, that's, to be, to be fair, that is what I did when I originally played this game. I did quit. Three years ago, members of the Acacia Dreams from Termina visit here. Getting quiet again. Gotta put, like, the mic closer to your mouth or something. <laughs> Any closer and it will be in my mouth. And... <laughs> Though I think I think it's the voice I'm doing the it's the mic quiet, doesn't yeah. like it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I'll switch back to uh, the other one. Those oh, no. nights <laughs> were after the frozen flame, but of course, instead they became the salt for the Dead Sea. They ew, were really bitter. Ew, they couldn't find. Have it. I been eating them all this time? <laughs> yes. I've been, I've been even licking the waves. What's wrong with you? You're not a giraffe. You don't need a salt lick. You see, only the chosen one, the, the chosen one, can approach the flame. See, now I got it. Now I have to stick with it. Uh oh, or, or I'm dying. It looks like fate has made its decision and started to carry it out now. Fate doesn't want. The frozen flame to awaken in this place at this time. Well, uh, sometimes he says fate in like lowercase, and sometimes he says fate in all uppercase. Why is that? It makes it seem like fate. Uh, the, the there is fate, the 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 predestined the destiny, and then fate. I think he might be referring to a being called fate. Hmm. Because. It wouldn't be a, hmm. uh, an RPG if you weren't fighting the actual manifestation of a concept. It would choose to destroy the flame along with the whole Dead Sea than to allow its enemies to take hold of it. I refuse to say flame a second time because it just felt wrong. I understand. This lost future is about to disappear into the darkness beyond the dimensions again. Beyond you have the dimensions! You have a lot to say, Miguel. You've been holding all of this in for so long. 14 years. You have no time to spare, but let me continue to talk. <laughs> you must immediately leave here. Now go! Okay, but what about these weird ghost children? Why are they? They're they're kind of kids. I love I you know. so much. Maybe to uh, that is why I sometimes a little bit of smash you to bits. Don't worry about me. You must go with quickness. Okay, bye. We're leaving. Good thing we got all the loot before we did this. Farewell, Sergey. The future is yours for the taking. Thanks, Rousedower. You, the one that the frozen flame has chosen. I'm still dying. Wait, actually, could you give me, like, some bandages or. Oh, no? Okay, uh, never mind. Bye. 
my dear Lena. May you live in a happier tomorrow. I mean, you could have also just come. I'm like, we have cure spells. We have tablets and capsules. No, we, like we could really beat. <laughs> we beat this man within further of an inch of his life. We beat this man within a foot of his life. A foot, a foot of his life. Uh -huh. I still don't understand. I still don't understand why they're children. Why they're not like their normal selves? Because they weren't that young in the original game. They were the same age as Harl and 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 Kid and uh, oh hi. Um. Rub holy <laughs> son of man. <laughs> Who are you? It's a dragon. It's one of the six dragons, I guess. Um, well, I'm glad that we have a dragon ride. Well. Now all the evidence that Johnny ever lived or died is gone. Reminded me of the end cutscene for Symphony of the Night. Better animated animated in here though. Why did you help us? <clears throat> I think you did the ice dragon or the, or the you did the water dragon. So uh, I guess I? I'll be sky dragon. Yeah, I believe you did. I don't remember, but okay. It's been a while. It's been a while. I too would like to witness this. How thou shalt live, and how thou shalt die. If thou art planning to bring forth a new entity, prepare thyself for anguish and sorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, well. The Sea of Eden. I don't know who's talking. The narrator. If thou intend to defy the goddess of fate, speak with the ancient dragon gods who sit in repose in El Nido. Let the path to the Sea of Eden be known when all the powers of the sleeping dragons are brought together. Go collect all the crystals. Serge! You're concerned about the other world, aren't you? Then, <laughs> old man, I mean, that's the entire reason that we were here, so yeah, I would think so. That eventual desertion should be back in order. Don't know how I know this. I don't know why not. Why Harl isn't the one telling you this, but uh, let's head back. Harl seems to know more about this stuff than I do. Uh... <laughs> oh. Oh, we're here. We're in Marvule. Well, is there anything to do in Marbule? We did. I don't know what we did. No, there's not. No. Nope. Alright, well. Let's go. Get back on our motorboat. Uh, before we go. Is there any reason to do something else? Uh... Didn't we, uh... Wasn't there something we wanted to do, but we had to progress the main story of it? Yeah, I think that's, like, most things. In fact, I think, um... Like, something to do with Marbule and, uh, like, the Beast People. Yeah, I think... I think we should just continue on at this point. Well, with the main story? Yeah, I think that we need to continue on until we hit a certain milestone.
So let's let's do that. Boom 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 boom. Let's save the game. We're gonna save um here, just in case. We'll leave that other one before we lose access to the Dead Sea, just in case we miss something. is the dimensional gate. Then let's get going. Now I can see. All right, let's see where the way. <laughs> okay, I remember that. Oh. Where was the effects? Oh, there we go. Okay, we're here. All right, wait to see where the portal looks like. Oh. Well, I, I like missed it. it. Hard to explain how we're bringing, you know, our party members with us. Hey, go away! Shoot! Leave me alone! Um, why are my weird shadow cat puppets attacking a kid? They seem confused. I think we're all a little confused. Uh, what's going on? Hi. Racist. Ah! Boy, am I in a major fix? Be gone if you wish to live. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> you, so you have some unsolved issues here. <laughs> it looks like he's he's like whispering that into the child's ear. <laughs> he is in this child's like personal space. <laughs> I'll kill you. Uh... Oh my god. Get out of our way! <laughs> Are we the baddies? <laughs> I guess they're supposed to be talking to the weird cat spirit things, but... It doesn't look like it. It's, it looks more like we were trying to intimidate the child. Oh, you saved this is me. Not, not quite I thought a good you were the framing. bad guys, too, for the way you look. I mean, you look like you were shopping <laughs> at the Hot Topic. Oh, that black leather. I was looking for rainbow shells when those things started harassing me. But look, I got the shells all right. I better head back and give them to Kiki. You're still on this? Thanks a lot for saving me. Bye! Hey, mister, you should be careful, too. Lots of monsters running loose nowadays. Shouldn't this kid, if this kid is from Arnie Village, shouldn't he recognize? Oh, wait, no, this is the this is the other world. No, Radius isn't here. Radius is, was being a hermit I'm in this world. A little, I'm a little lost on which world we, we keep going to and coming we, back to. We were in the home world this entire time uh, until just now. And now we're in the other world again. Oh, well, the grown-ups say it's a rebellion led by Surge. And I heard this Surge is trying to kill everyone on the island. I can't believe someone would do that! I wonder what's going to happen to us. In this world, Radius was uh, was not in the village. Radius was a hermit, living in that in that hermit hut. Um, and uh, Surge was a cat man, who didn't live in Arnie Village uh, after his uh, his boating accident. I don't know. And, so we're not um, in home world. We're in other world. Yes, because there are only two worlds, as far as I know, so far. I, mean, I don't know if there's going to be another one, but there are only two there, worlds, and this is the other world. It, it's in, basically implying that there's, because of chance, any decision we make, we just kind of create a whole other world. I mean, that's that's the, the, the whole multiverse theory, isn't it? Anything that you decide to do can create There's a whole episode of The Community about this. I've been watching, uh, in related news, I have been watching a show, it just aired this year, it just finished, I think, a couple weeks ago, called Dark Matter, which deals with alternate realities. Uh, it's pretty interesting so far. I'm only a couple episodes in, but it's, it's, it's pretty good so far. 
Sorry, sorry, young Uncle Owen from Star Wars. Looks like there's much chaos going on here. An unsurprising lit. Uprising. Lit. Oh, an, uh, an uprising led by Serge. So, Serge has become the enemy of the people. Yep, that's me. Sir, like, Serge, the enemy of the I people. I like Harl's getting a little confused. I think Harl might be a little confused. Like both of us, Serge. All right, well, go to the village. Anything going on here? Probably not. It's probably all the same stuff. Or everyone's just gone. Or they're all just gone. That could happen too. Can I grab this rainbow shell? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> yeah, I can. Maybe we, maybe we are the baddies. <laughs> Listen. Finders keepers. No one was here to tell us not to. No one's. There's a whole lot of nobody here. No one's gone. Not this thing though. Let's just go ahead and close the curtains. <laughs> we sure seem to be living in troubled times, man. But I ain't about to leave my island. I guess that's what they call dragon spirit, man. Oh, you want to rest, man? Nah. Man. 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 It'd be funny if that was he was actually telling the truth. This is actually his island. Like literally, he is the like the god of this island. Just runs a bed and breakfast here in Arnie Village. <laughs> you can be this guy. I thought this was the kid. Hey, man. Nope. Sorry, only Arnie residents are allowed through here. They're all taking shelter from the evils of Surge and his minions. Okay. Steal a fish? No. We have two rainbow shells now, by the way. Don't know what we'll do with them, but we have them. Well, there's our boat. See if you can find a boat. It's right there. It's right there. I don't think there's anything. I mean, we'll look, but I don't think there's anything else going on in this in this place. But is there stuff to take? There was just the no one thing. No one's around. That's where we got Mojo. Mojo's still here. Mojo's still here waiting to be on our party. I think this is where he goes when he's not in our party. Yeah, they all go to, like, their place when they're not on our party. What happened to you? I think this is, wait, this is you, isn't it? Right, I was Mojo, and I hated it. Hated it because of his his, <laughs> his speech pattern. <laughs> well, you don't have to use, remember, you don't have to do a speech pattern. We've talked about this. I don't even remember what he, I don't even remember what his, uh, what his voice was. My, I don't know. Uh, 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 oh. Let's do anything. Honestly, my body will return. To, will turn to jelly if I don't start working out. Okay, great. Glad we took the time to talk oh. to you. So what if a surgeon is minions invade? I'm not gonna run. No use hiding anymore. True love and peace of mind are in our hearts. Our true cultist. He's still worshiping Mojo, by the way. He's still down here worshiping. Friggin' literal straw man. Going on in here. Cafe Fleur. Oh, she's still here. You're back. Everyone's taking shelter over at Village Chiefs. Who knows when Surge and his minions will come invade our village? No, oh, me. I'll be fine. It's too late to run anyway. Away now. It's my penance for not facing up to reality. Reality has finally caught up with me. Sure. going on in here <gasps> secrets <laughs> wow what an amazing find that was that will surely make the difference the life or death dif difference in the end one single tablet what's going on with this pot no answer it's just a pot okay 
right, well, let's go get our boat. Let's go see if we can find a boat. Steal a boat. I mean, technically, this is our boat that we've been borrowing this whole time. Can I not use the boat? Maybe we just have to go out. Maybe it's out in the world. Where's our boat? <laughs> where, actually, where actually is our boat? I think it's up near uh, the city. All right. Well, At, you know what? I have no idea. I mean, we have to go through Fossil Valley then in order to get to it. It's not. It's not going to be long. It's just a is little it? annoying. Hold on. Let me. Let me double check. Can we get the boat? Where? Where was our boat? Uh. No, it just says go get the rainbow shell in Arnie Village, and then. Okay, well, whatever. We'll just uh. Continue on without the boat. Oh, it's because we have to fight these things. That's why it's making us go here because we have to fight these things. Lynx, collect your children. <laughs> Tootin' Shaman. Oh, I thought that's what they were called. Like that does—I don't remember them being called that. <laughs> No, the middle one is called Tootin' Shaman. He toots as he Ow. pleases. <laughs> Thank you. He bowed to me at the end there. Um, what if I use Holy Light? <laughs> what kind of damage is this going to do? Decent amount, a decent amount, not a huge amount, but a decent amount. Oh my god, hurl. Uh. <laughs> okay. Anti white. Oh no, I can't use white spells anymore. Oh no, Harl, a black aspect of character, can't use white spells anymore. What shall I possibly do? My turn. Uh, wait. I'll hit this little child like I wanted to hit that one on the beach. He didn't hit him. He he appeared to threaten him. I wanted to. I really wanted to hit him. Weaken. And fur. Fur from what? Fur from shadow cats that don't actually appear to have any fur? Sure. Cure my burn. Cure my burns! Alright, sure, we'll fight. We might as well fight a little bit, get some uh, XP and, and loots. Or whatever the game, whatever game this used uses for XP, the, the little small little uh, HP ups and stuff. No. Alright, I need to be right back a moment. Okay. BRB then. We'll continue exploring Fossil Valley. Let's see what Fecal Cats does. I mean, how much damage it does. This cat on cat violence.
Got him. Something small. Let's use Ice Lance. Nice. up here the animals that are here we're here are uh, are gone dead and gone now I don't think we necessarily need to like be here at all but you know look around for more loot you never know there could be more loot one of these bee things that I don't really care to fight right now. Ah. Didn't even do that much damage, but it knocks me down. Alright. Uh, you. Okay. Ow. Ah! Ah! Stop it! It stings! Hey, Let's try Inferno. Let's see what this looks like. Inferno. Oh, that's minus one. I thought it was like. Yeah, it's because I, I, it I have it in a lower slot. some heals for the end. Alright. What do you think uh, Radius used when he was younger? Just a sword? A samurai sword. Because of the samurai way he's sword. wielding his cane. Yeah. By the way... I never actually looked. Uh, equip. I never looked to see what this does. Talk to you in battle with your element power level increased by one. That's pretty nice, actually. Um, we're gonna do that. I know we didn't have to come up here, but I did. You know, I want more HP, even if it's small amounts, but I mean, you know, 3 HP isn't nothing to scoff at, especially if I get it multiple times. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that guy. This game is jump scaring me, Lost Joke. Oh, it's three little children. Three little magical children. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Too hot! Oh, that's not that bad. This is gonna hit hard if I ever get my body back. 
a lot hard, a lot harder. Jeez, is Fire Pillar the only thing that they know how to do? Great, now she's burned. My turn to hit children again. Yay! Radius. I don't think these are children. <laughs> They're small. They're kind of cute. They're close enough. Kind of like. They're like potato people. <laughs> <laughs> they're all. They're lollipels. All right. My my bonuses are getting like smaller and smaller. So, uh, ointment. let's rub some ointment <laughs> on the girl and the old man. Ah, go away. We don't want more bonuses. We're, do we're done with bonuses now. All right. Termina. Where is our friggin' boat? <laughs> Where actually is it, though? Maybe we could have gone and, and gotten it. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, well, I, I don't remember where we left oh. it. Did you look it up? I mean, the guide doesn't say anything about it, so... Uh, hey. Hey, don't wander around here. You're interfering with my duties. Oh, God, you're interfering with me, sir. Uh, this place wasn't taken over in the home world, or in the other world last time we were here. It was taken over in the home world, but not this world. Very weird. What happened? Oh, am I supposed to be this guy? Yeah. Oh, well, we're switching. As we always do. Currently, currently, we have suspended all economic activities in Termina. Uh, isn't, isn't that bad? <laughs> we have left only the element shop alone. But that smith is a stubborn one. He will not close up shop for anything. Of course, the bar over there has also been shut down as well. We're pretty thorough when we need to be, you know. Uh-huh. Not that, not that anyone would want to go drinking in a time like this, but just in case. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a very happy song for a, a occupied town. Welcome! We're still open! I don't think there's anything in particular that I want to get. So. Cat. I can't use the cat. Can't interact with the cat. Can't pet cat. Alas. And a lack of cat. 